The young people whom I refer to as being part of the Phoenix generation may not even read this book or be reading printed books at all. Yet although this book which I call the Phoenix generation is about them, it really is a book for us. It's a book concerned with understanding what is to come and also the potentials that may create this future. For me, it's likely to be a future without any historical precedent. The transition toward a world inhabited by the Phoenix generation is going to be one of those flat earth to round earth moments. And when it does arrive, we are likely to think, but how could it have been otherwise? This transition over the coming decades and into what I term the quantum renaissance is not going to happen with a big bang event, but rather with an organic unfolding. For us, we will see new generations arising into the world who will step up to become the architects of a new planetary society. Now in the grander evolutionary scale of things, all this will occur as if a sudden flowering or late bloom. Yet we have to realize that for human beings to evolve through change, we need to normalize and assimilate the new anomalies into a balanced perspective and worldview. So this book, The Phoenix Generation, is for us right now, at this precise moment in time. It is a transition tool to enable us to work with and assist the changes confronting us and human society in general. It is a book to help us recognize the new ways and new models that are most likely to emerge over the coming decades. It is a book to allow us to recognize that many old forms and structures are no longer conducive to a balanced and sustainable life and that we have to let them go. It is a book that affirms a new perspective on the world and how we need to integrate this into our lives without fear, apprehension or distrust. And importantly, it is a book about recognizing the hearts, minds and souls of the new beings entering our human species. So when we look into their bright, inquiring faces, we can say to them, yes, we get it too and we get you. Then, when the sun rises on a new dawn, we can all say we witnessed the glorious new phoenix arising from the ashes. And it was good. <laughs>